compete. And, uh, you know, we just come up a little bit short last couple weeks. So um, we just have to do a better job. I mean, it's, it's certainly all of us feel it. It's not any one thing. It's a lot of things collectively. And we've always won as a team and we lose as a team. And, um, you know, when you lose close games, there's a lot of plays that you wish were different. And, um, you know, there's just not going to make any excuses. We just got to do a better job. Okay, Shannon. How much trouble are the Patriots in? Where's that energy? Mm. Where's that verbal that he normally talks with last week? They lost the game. <laughs> oh, that was one play. Now he's sullen. Now somebody done took his dog. His car won't crank, Jenny. It's been raining all night. They should be very concerned. Mm. And let me tell you why they should be concerned. Mm. Because the main culprit of their concern should be number 12. Mm. Now, everybody, I'm going to go in the word of Kevin Durant. Mm. Now, these fanboys media can keep telling you Tom Brady's the mm. same guy. And he's going to play. He's not. There, there's only one well, fanboy in the whole well, media, and he's sitting across from you. Still. So don't make it pejorative. Just just make it. I don't know. Just why focus you, it. Why are you doing just me like this? Just me. Why are you just do, say me. It's why okay. Why are you doing yeah. this to me today? Yeah. This is my one day. I don't bother anybody. I come mm. out here. I ain't bother nobody. Got me a little something here. <laughs> Skip Bayless. Mm. For the longest time, no matter what transpired, they could be good defensively or they could be bad. They could have a running game or they couldn't. They have guys, receivers in and out. It didn't matter. Number 12 can pull them through. 12 is putting them in harm's way mm -hmm. also. But we failed to real, we failed to look at that, Skip. There are some mm -hmm. plays, and I've told you this, when you, as a guy that played this game, mm -hmm. that started to get earlier, those licks hurt more, mm -hmm. and you didn't want to feel those licks. Mm. There are some plays that I'm going to show you, because mm. I don't like to bring up, I don't like to get footage in, I just like mm. to talk. True. But in this situation, I, I had to show people stuff. what I'm talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. DJ, drop that track for me right quick. Mm -hmm. I want to show you the GOAT. The guy you said is the GOAT that will step he, he up. Is the you know, no, hold on. Well, he is. It's now, unquestioned. Skip, I didn't ask you a question. Yeah, yeah. I said the guy that Skip Baylor said is mm. the GOAT. Look at these throws. Mm. Now, he said, look at this. Oh, Skip, if we can go back and see it, he's falling away from these throws. Look at this. Skip, where's the pressure? Where's the pressure on Tom Brady? Mm. Now, this is the last play of the game. Look at this. Where's the pressure, Skip? Mm. He's falling down and nobody's close to him. You know why? The One of the first things to go as you get older mm -hmm. is your leg. It's not your shoulder if you're a quarterback. Mm. Most other positions require mm -hmm. their legs. Mm -hmm. And the quarterback, you need your legs also. Yep. But you see Tom Brady can't drive the ball like mm -hmm. he once could. Uh. He's flinching. Uh. Now, he said on the interception he was trying to throw the ball out of bounds. So you mean to tell me Tom Brady can't throw the ball out of bounds from 30 yards away? Mm. His arm strength, everybody keep telling me his mm -hmm. arm is as strong, mm -hmm. if not stronger, when he was 30. Mm -hmm. Bull. Jive. Mm -hmm. If you watched that game yesterday, yep. if you think for one second Tom Brady's going to play till he's 45, you're foolish. Mm. If you think Tom Brady is the same quarterback, mm. can he make throws if nobody's in his... Mm. Hell, everybody can make throws mm. if they got a clean pocket. Mm. But Tom Brady doesn't want to stare down that mm. gun barrel anymore, Skip Bayless. Mm. And there are two occasions in which you saw mm. it yesterday. Mm. And then there are some occasions there was nobody around. Mm. And he's he's a, a dying goat. You know, they got them goats. Not Jenny. Sometimes mm. they get in there and just kick over on you. Mm. That's Tom Brady yesterday. Mm. You saw it. He's <laughs> flinching, Skip Bayless. Mm. He's not that same guy mm. at home. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers are a dynamic offense. They averaged 34 and a half points a game at home, Jenny. They held them to 17. Mm -hmm. I go yeah. back four games. They were averaging 40, they were averaging 39. Mm -hmm. Slightly less than 40 points a game at mm -hmm. home over the last four. You hold Juju and A B to under 50 yards. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady give you 10. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody is gonna blame Coach Belichick because some running back, some innocuous running back ran for 100 yards. Mm -hmm. But what about Tom Brady? 142. For, for the third time. Yeah. This year, mm -hmm. a Tom Brady-led offense mm -hmm. has scored 10 or fewer points, mm. which is the most mm. in the Brady-Belichick era. Mm. Mm. But he's the same guy. Mm. That's bullshit. I wanted to move Gronk. Mm. A year early, mm. get that second round pick. Mm. Skip, he's not the same guy. I agree with he's that. He's not the same guy. You finally made a good point. But that guy, number 12, mm. yep. he's not the same guy. Mm. He's flinching. Really? He's flinching. Wow, that guy who threw it for 182 in the fourth quarter to outgun Patrick Mahomes. Oh, see, now, you, now it's Patrick Mahomes. Mm. What did he do yesterday oh. in the fourth quarter? Oh, by the way, if, if I 
apply these same standards to the GOAT that you say is the GOAT, Aaron Rodgers? Should he retire now? Because he's playing at a way worse level we, than Tom Brady ever thought about playing. We got him coming up. Oh, we'll we'll okay. address him. I'm, I'm just asking because you're focused. calling for Tom stay Brady focused. to retire, stay right? Stay focused. You I want him just, to retire I right now. Just stay focused right here, Tom. We talking right. about Tom Brady. We'll right. get to Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. I'm going to deal with him a little later. Okay. So. The Patriots, here's the God's truth about this. The Patriots were in trouble a week ago when on, after Tom Brady had played his best game of the year in his annual House of Horrors in Miami, his best game of the year. Okay. Bill Belichick, the genius, pulled the all-time ungenius move on the last play of the game, and the Miami miracle occurred. And uh, what was what looked like and felt like a key win in their season to get them to 10 and four mm -hmm. turned into a devastating loss that was going to be very difficult for that team to pick itself up off the floor and go to Pittsburgh. Oh, that would have gotten them 10 and yeah. three. That would have yeah. got them 10 and three. It yeah. made them nine and four after okay. the loss. It got to 10 and three, right. right. Okay, so the point is, I told you on Friday when, by the way, you, you're you so down on Tom Brady, you picked him to win this game. How did you do that? Oh, you're the Hall of Famer and you, you picked Tom to Brady. No, I'm not trying to flip it. I'm yeah. just saying you, you were so high on him going into this game that you thought he would have no problem with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I Am I right? Yes. Okay. I picked Pittsburgh. And my reason was that when you take an organization that has won so much for so long and you keep rubbing their nose in the fact that Tom Brady just owns you, he's 11 and two against you, he at was? some point, that organization, that football team, that head coach, Mike Tomlin, they're gonna rise up on pure pride and they're going to play the game of the year. And I thought they played their best game of the year yesterday on both sides of the ball. That was a tour de force by the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that's what it took to beat Tom Brady. And I got to give Pittsburgh plenty of credit for what they did. It's my turn. You, you, I said, uh, what you, what, I ain't say nothing. Don't look what Steve told you to say. I, I'm looking I, I, at my I, nose. Go ahead. Like Why are you worried about what I got going on over here? Okay. <laughs> now, let's get to the reasons. The, the deepest reasons the, the New England Patriots lost this football game. A Bill Belichick team, a Bill Belichick defense gave up 178 yards rushing on the road. That's a, after giving up 189 rushing on the road at Miami. But Tom Brady won in spite at Miami. At least he put them in position to win the football game with, with his best game of the year. But when you give up 178 on the road followed, following 189, you can't win road games that way. You can't win a Super Bowl that way. And Why by not? the way, you, you just dusted us this off, swept it under your carpet over there. Pittsburgh is down to its third back, Jalen Samuels, and he goes for 142 yards on 19 carries mm -hmm. against the genius Belichick's defense. He catches two more balls for 30 yards. That, that's horrendously bad. Do you realize New England is now 31st in the league?